Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Miss Rivers. That's right, we're back again with box number three of my case of Throne of Eldraine. Let's get right into it. See if we can't find, uh, you know, some of those spicy uh, foil storybook arts or uh, maybe some planeswalkers. Who knows? Um, I don't even know, to be honest, what the highest priced cards are in this set. I'm not really following the prices that heavily right now. Um, it's still pretty early in the set's release. Um, I think Once Upon a Time is still the highest like regular rare, if I'm not mistaken. So we got Epic Downfall, Lock Dragon, Mad Ratter, and Wishclaw Talisman. That's, I think that's like my first copy of this card that's not foil. I believe, um, to be completely honest with everyone. Um, looks like we've got a little bit of glare coming from that side. Uh, let me just see if I can clear that up here for a moment. How's that? It's a little better, isn't it? Not nearly as much glare. So there you go. Hopefully the video can cut away there and cut back to where we're in the clear with the lighting. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. All right, we've got our first uncommon storyboarder, which is nice. Foul, uh, Foulmire Knight. Sweet. I'll take it. I like the uh, the alternate arts are very nice. Venerable Knight, Bognati, and Return of the Wind Wild Speaker. Return of the Wild Speaker. The good old Garrick. Hey, look, it's the goat. Good old O1 goat eating a boot. Eating a boot. And I'm not saying about. I'm saying a boot. See, see the difference. I know I'm Canadian, and it's hard to tell, but there it is. We got Sorcerer's Broom, we got Sir Conrad, we've got Sage of the Falls, and Wildborn Preserver. So I don't know if anybody else has, um, like I talked about this in the last video, I think, where the the pack difference with like the bo the, bum the bundles versus the uh, booster boxes versus the pre-release kits. Our, our rare here is a Happily Ever After. Ooh, and we got a foil storyboarder, Bone Crusher Giant. All right, foil one foil rare out of the box, and it's a storyboarder rare. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, but the cards themselves are actually a little bit different as well. I've, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but um, some of the cards uh, from this set have a very distinct color difference on the edges. These ones are quite dark. Uh, the ones from, I think, the bundles, from what I can tell, I'm going to have to compare it, are quite light. Uh, quite a bit lighter. Lucky Clover, Slaying Fire, Righteousness, and Dance of the Mance. Good old Dance of the Mance. I don't think I have anything here to bless the packs with. I can't take a book out of MTG Unpacks uh, playbook and... and Bless the packs or anything like that, but who knows? Maybe that will change. Torbran, Thane of the Red Fell. Who doesn't like doubling up on damages or tripling up on damages, if as the case may be? Are we, where are we? Are we off the top of the screen there? Just a little bit, eh? Just a little bit. All right, we got Wintermore Commander, Hypnotic Sprite, Sir. Eleonora and Charming Prince. Mm hmm. Care to dance? 
Do you care to dance? Mouse token and appliance. But yeah, so not only do the packages open like butter out of these, but the cards are a little bit different. We'll have to do another video where I talk about that and get a couple examples of both. Yorvo, Lord of Garenbrig. Garbage card. The garbage cards are back. You know, it's like that video. Uh, garbage day. What? No, no. Covetous Urge, Arcanist Owl, Bell of the Brawl, and the Great Henge is our first mythic. There it is, a heavy hitting, a heavy hitting henge, as it were. Right? The heavy hitting henge. That's the. That's my alliteration for today. You're welcome, everyone. Ooh, we got another storyboarder card here. Animating Fairy. Very nice. Seer Farron. Burning Yard Trainer. We got a Hushbringer, and we have another Foil. Another Foil Rare. Foil Midnight Clock. There you go. I've seen uh, plenty of drafts get lost to Midnight Clock and also lose because of building a deck around Midnight Clock. <laughs> Claim the Firstborn. Epic Downfall. Sir Farron again. And Castle Embereth. I believe Castle Embereth is the... Is that the highest priced of the lands right now? It might be. Could be close. Could be close. I don't know. I haven't looked... Like I said, I haven't looked at the prices. Wandermare. Edgewall Innkeeper. Very good. Ooh, and a Story Border. Order of the Midnight. Or Order of Midnight, which is very nice. Opportunistic Dragon. Seems like a very interesting card. The fact that you take a thing and you get to keep it, but it can't do anything is kind of weird. Um... It can't even activate its abilities. Yeah, it loses all of its abilities and it can't attack or block, which is weird and interesting. Savvy Hunter, Order of Midnight, Witch's Vengeance. So we're two foil rares, one mythic, three story border arts. All right, Mystic Dispute, Wintermore, Commander, Sir Farron again, and Fae of Wishes. Just Guy Fires seeing uh, seeing a lot of play right now in Standard. It's an interesting deck, especially the Super Friends version of it. Skull Knocker Ogre, Frogify, Grumgully the Generous, and Fabled Passage. I'll take it. I think that's like my second copy of Fabled Passage out of everything I've opened, and I've opened quite a bit of product from this set. Um, so. You know, that is saying something. We've got a Spectre's Shriek, Covetous Urge, Trail of Crumbs, and second mythic from the box, the Magic Mirror. Magic Mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? It's not Mr. B. This is our first normal foil out of this box. That's kind of funny. Because, like, the foil count's supposed to be quite a bit higher, right, in these sets, and we've noticed that, about 12 foils per box which is a fair number of foils per box, right? But uh, it's just interesting to see that we've only gotten three foils out of this box so far. We're halfway through it. But two of the foils of the three we've gotten are rare, which is kind of like you can't really complain. Shambling Suit, Claim the Firstborn, All That Glitters, and we got a Fervorant Champion with another foil, and it's another foil rare! Five <laughs> foil Witch's Vengeance. What is... What is going on? All right, so we must have hit all the foil rares out of this box. There's no way there's more foil rares in this box, right? <laughs> Fireborn Knight, Edgewall Innkeeper, Thunderous Snapper, and Doom Foretold. As for those of you who are wondering how I order my cards in this video, most videos, I, what I try to do is I try to put cards that I know are like, you know, more than a like more than about a dollar or two in this column and then the heavy hitters into this column and then mythics and such here and then like foils and foil rares kind of fall in here and then cards of just interest and note go over here. So for instance, alternate arts. In this case, I'm kind of throwing cards wherever because I don't actually know the prices. <laughs> so Emery, Lurker of the Lock, I know is a good one. But I don't think it's super high. And we got a foil tall as a beanstalk. You're not a rare. You disappoint me, tall as a beanstalk. How are we supposed to keep up the all foil rare run out of a box if you're not a rare? Right? 
My goodness. Mystical <laughs> Dispute. Beanstalk Giant alternate art, storyboarder art, Heraldric Banner, and Feasting Troll King. He's just hungry, okay? He's just hungry all the time. That's his secret. Right? That's his secret. He's just hungry all the time. Spinning Wheel, Resolute Rider, Oakhame Adversary, and Castle Audenvale. Castle Audenvale. All right. Spectre's Shriek, Turn into a Pumpkin, Mysterious Pathlighter, and Once Upon a Time. The heaviest hitting rare from the set at the moment. I think the heaviest hitting mythic at this at the moment is the henge too, is that correct? Maybe it's one of the planeswalkers. I honestly don't know. Inquisitive Puppet, Elite Headhunter, Grumgully the Generous, and Fires of Invention. There you go, that's the Just Guy Fires. Another foil, but not a foil rare. See, like I think that's what I'm saying is like, I think all of our foils are going to be at the end of this box and we hit all the rares up front and we're not going to hit any more foil rares out of this box. That's my guess. Shambling Suit, Ferocity of the Wilds, Rampart Smasher, and there's another mythic, Outlaws Merriment. Making a whole bunch of little tokens. Little tokens. Maybe they're big. Really depends on your luck, right? It's all luck-based, right, isn't it? At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random? Yeah. Okay, Ranger, storyboarder art. Nice. Puts us up to five out of this box, which is actually pretty good. Inspiring Veteran. And an Iron Crag Pyromancer. All right. What else we got? Deathless Knight. Sir Kahar. Sir Kara. Kara, Ken Kenrith's transformation, and acclaimed contender. I've brought you a contender. Boom. 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 Embereth shield breaker. Ferocity of the wilds. Rampart smasher and worthy knight. With another foil, charmed sleep. Worthy Knight's a fun card, too. Very good for the Mardu Knight deck, since it just poops out little tokens. Mara Leaf Pixie, Spinning Wheel, Burning Yard Trainer, and Castle Loctwain. With a foil, Skull Knocker Ogre. Hey, look, it's the 2 1 Lifelink Haste human token. A Cleric. We got the Tournament Grounds, we got the Drown in the Lock. This is the Uncommon worth a couple bucks, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Red Cap Melee, and... Oh, hello, Garrick! Welcome to the party! There he is. A very good card. Just a bomb and limited. Absolute bomb and limited. Don't know if it's seeing a lot of play in Standard at the moment, but hey... Steel Claw Lance, Cauldron's Gift, Improbable Alliance, and we've got another return of the Wild Speaker. And we've got a foil Dwarven Mine. It adds a foil dwarf, right? When you play it. Hey, we we got a wolf token too, nice. For our Garrick. We need those wolf tokens for our Garrick. Deafening Silence, Enchanted Carriage, Cauldron Familiar, and Folio. Of fancies. Hey, with another foil. Foil into the story. Who doesn't like drawing a whole pile of cards? For real for real low cheap. Right? Well, real low cheap, provided you meet the scenario. Which is what? The spell costs three less if an opponent has seven or more cards in their graveyard? Yeah. Tournament grounds. Deathless knight. Into the story. And Raba of the Rich. That puts us to five mythics in this box. Uh, seems pretty all right. Seems pretty all right. Let's see. How many more foils can we find? Embereth, Shieldbreaker, Joust, Sorcerer's Broom, and Castle Vantress. Did we get all of the castles? 
Loctwain, Ardenvale, uh, Embereth. We're missing the green one. We're missing the green land. Three packs to go. We still got time. Revenge of Ravens. This card's absolutely broken and limited. Absolutely broken. Sir Eleonora. Archon of Absolution. And an alternate art rare, finally. I mean, the only alternate art rare we hit out of this set was Foil. So it's kind of interesting that we only hit one out of this box that was non-foil. And that's a Love Struck Beast. So that's kind of cool. And then we got a Foil Garen Brig Carver. Not the storyboarder art, mind you. Just a regular. Just the regular one. Also not a bad little card for Limited. We got an Oakham Ranger again. Oh, why did I put that there? You're not a, You're not alternate art. Once and future. Sir Aelin. And stolen by the Fae. Oh, foil, foil Covetous Urge. There it is. For those of you who don't know, I'm participating in the Contator, uh, Content Creator Cup. Um, run by uh, Creators. Or M MTG Numbers. And uh, uh, our card to use in the first challenge is Covetous Surge, so that's kind of cool. And we got a Midnight Clock as the last rare from the box. So we ended up with five Mythics, only one Story Border Art rare, except a second one that was Foil. So technically two, but one being foil means it didn't fall into the rare slot. It fell into the foil slot. So that's kind of like a interesting thing. We hit the once upon a time. We hit the fabled passage, which is good. Uh, our mythics were not terrible. The Great Henge, uh, Garrick, both very good. We hit three foil rares out of the box, which seems good as well. I mean, that seems above average. I would say two per box is probably normal these days with the increased foil rate. Um, anyway... There you have it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Bevers. I hope you enjoyed this box of Throne of Eldraine. Thanks for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.